What is up, boys and girls? It's Trollin' Rhino here, and today I'm going to be giving you three achievements, actually, in Cuphead. Now, the first one is going to be called Selling Out. This is for giving in to the devil. Now, once you get to the end of the game and you've beat the dice head boss, then you'll come into this little area. You'll get a choice. Uh, you'll get to go in and talk to the devil. Then you'll get a choice whether you want to hand over and join his team, like hand over the contracts, join his team, or not. Now, the first achievement is just for giving in. So, of course, you hand him the contracts, and then you are a part of his team. And that's the end of the game on that part. <laughs> so that's that achievement. Now, the next achievement is Swing You Sinner. This is for defeating the devil. Now, the devil has lots and lots and lots of different attacks, and I'm going to be explaining them and kind of telling you my setup and all that kind of stuff. I have a gameplay running in the background of the time I finally beat him. So I'm going to tell you guys the weapons that I started or I had in this. So the weapons I had were the first shooting gun in the game. Uh, and then I had the, the spread shot. That's probably one of the one of the first ones that you would have bought is the spread shot. And then I also have, for the dodge, you go invisible, so that's your charm. And the super, I have invincibility. Now, it's it's really handy having that invincibility. And keeping all, if you can, keep all your lives till the very end if you can. It's possible, because I think I do it on here, and then I spend all my lives on the second last step of the boss. And then I use my invincibility just to clean up the boss. Because he does he's not very strong on the very last step, so... Try, try, and it's going to take a lot of practice. He's got a, a couple different attacks. Like when he does that, uh, when he turns into a ram and slams, you're going to have to jump and dodge just to stay in the air a little longer. You'll use that dodge a lot. I really recommend having that. That's almost something you need. And then, uh, really, there's not much else to explain. Like, you'll have this, you'll use the, I use the single shot until I get to after the first part. After that, I just use the spread shot. Use the spread shot, it destroys him right here because you just shoot his eyeballs and all six or five bullets, whatever it is, hit him every single time and you just destroy him. May, uh, those pink bombs also, they do not hurt you, so just jump right into them. Don't have any fear and just destroy them as fast as you can because when they blow up, they blow up big. I'm not sure if they hit the whole screen or not, but they do... They hit me every single time they've blown up so that's that uh i don't use my invincibility here i did a few times but i was never able to beat the boss so it gets pretty sketchy at this point when you uh only have one or two lives left here but just keep trying as hard as you can uh this quad shot is or the spread shot is unreal here and then use your invincibility hopefully it's just good to be honest, it's just going to take you guys, like, practice of learning how they attack and timing things right. That's really the big point. The only thing I can help you out a lot with is kind of your setup. And I'm hoping that this setup will be able to help you guys beat this. Because I got it with this actually fairly easy. I tried with the uh, seeking shots and all that stuff and was never able to get it. So once I switch to that splitter shot, you just destroy him as soon as you go underground. So the next achievement is called Soul Save. This is for completing the game on normal. So if you've been going through the entire game defeating every single boss on normal difficulty, you'll just automatically get this achievement right in this ending cutscene because you have to beat the devil and dice head on uh, normal difficulty. So then all it does is uh, you just get the achievement because you've already beat every other boss on normal difficulty and not simple. So that's basically how you do that. And if you guys need help with any of the bosses on normal, I'm going to be coming out with videos on A minuses and higher rankings, kind of showing how I did it and the setups I had for the bosses and kind of explaining how they attack and whatnot. Hopefully giving you enough enough pointers to be able to beat them to get an A minus or not. A lot of this game is skill, so it is very hard to pass on a lot of knowledge because you just have to be able to have that hand-eye coordination and look at everything at once and know where to go. It's it's a very difficult game and a lot of skill is required. But I'm hoping you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys could probably do it. You bought this game, so it's it's not too, too bad. But I don't even want to try expert mode, really, because I feel like I'm going to get shut down really hard. 
But other than that, I hope my setup and whatnot kind of helped you guys out on how to defeat the devil if you were having issues with it. And if you do have any issues, just say in the comments. I'll try and comment back, help you guys out, do whatever I can to get you guys through this. And I will see you guys in some more achievement videos. Bye-bye.